Praise the Lord. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning. I'm um, Robert Yo with our program, Discover Your Purpose. And such a time, I'm teaching about the sixth principle, how to live a successful life. Do you know that in this world, whoever is alive, you need to have a successful life. You need to live a successful life. You need to walk a successful life. All your lifestyle is supposed to be successful life. You don't need to miss this. Invite your friend, uh, subscribe for your first time, like the page if you're on the, you're on the Facebook and I want to welcome you in our program. So God bless you. It's a, such a wonderful time and a wonderful moment. We have a great time. God has given us this grace. Let us use and let us walk according to the perfect will of God. So in such time like this, you can't do anything until you have discovered what you're supposed to do. You are welcome. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time. We bless your name, Lord. We glorify your name and I call upon the knowledge of God, the wisdom from God and understanding. Give us the ability to understand, to walk according to the perfect will of God. I bless each and every one with knowledge, wisdom and understanding. As we're going to listen, and to hear from you. Give us the ability to walk according in Jesus' name. Amen. Yesterday we end by with uh, principle number two. Principle number one was seek the knowledge of God or wisdom from God. Principle number two, avoid foolishness and ignorant duty. Those were the principle number two. I end with it yesterday and uh, now today I'm launching with you principle number three. If you are to walk a successful life, if you are to live a successful life, if you are to see success in whatever you are doing in your life, principle number three, be willing to accept advice. Many people don't want to advise you, don't want people to speak to you, don't want people to counsel you. But if you want to live a successful life in your life, in your heart, in your room of your heart, always give a room for advice. Allow people to speak to you. Allow people to correct you. Allow people to rebuke you. That's why in the book, the Bible, Kisolomon said that it's better to listen to the rebuke of a wise man than to listen to the song of a fool. Don't always listen to people who praise you only. Always they praise you. Listen also to people who rebuke, who say you are doing wrong. What you're doing is not good. You will never make it in life. That's how you are going to succeed in your life. So success is not something you get, but it's something you make. So I told you, be willing to accept advice. That's what I want to build today. Always be willing to, adhere, to, 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 to accept advice from others. So what does this mean? The things, this, this was the Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 9. The things which you learn and received and heard and saw in me, they, this do, and the God of peace will be with you. Do this. So Paul was advising Philippian people that the things you hear from me, accept them. What the counsel you are hearing from me, the advice you are hearing from me. I've been teaching about a lot of things. I've been speaking to you different things. I know you have been listening to me. Not only me, you are listening to different people. You are listening to everyone, but also when you listen, don't just listen, but act. The effectiveness of your listening is the applying of it. If you want to see success, always apply to the counsel you have been taught or you have been listening to. When they give you advice, apply to it. Applying means the act part of it. Many people you hear the counsel, you hear the knowledge, you hear the wisdom word, but you stop there. I've been teaching since last year. I know if you have been put into practice, you won't be far away. I myself, the one who come and teach you all of this message, I always practice them. Always give a room inside your heart. The day you think you know, that's the downfall of you. Never know, never expect it in your life that you know. Always give a room inside you that you don't know. Allow people to speak to you. Allow people to advise you. Allow people to rebuke you. Allow people to counsel you. Allow people to correct you. That's how you are going to succeed. Success is always not being just your above. It's always giving a room inside you to listen. 
be willing to accept the advice. That's how you are going to, to go to another level. Some people they look very poor, some people they look no, not knowledgeable than you, but they can advise you too. One day Moses was in the desert and he went into with the children of Israel. The Bible said that every time and every moment Moses could do the rest of the thing. He knew from God, but his father-in-law, not even a Jew, he was not even a Jew. He was not even a Israel member. He was just the man he met in the desert. He came and advised him. He came and counseled him. Some people, you are so mighty, you don't want even people to speak to you because you are working, you are, you are a minister, but you don't listen to local people. Those people down there, they know the root cause of what's taking place in the ground. If you can go and listen to them, you can become effective. Pastors, don't be almighty, you don't want to listen because you're almighty God. No, you're not almighty, you're just a servant, you're just a steward. Listen advice from each and every. Don't be surprised that you don't want to know, you don't want to listen. Don't be arrogant. Don't be ignorant. Don't be foolish. Always give a room inside you to have knowledge and the counsel from others. That's how you are going to succeed in your life. So we cannot learn and grow if we think our opinion is the only one that matters. In success, you will never grow and you will never learn. You will never go to another level if you think that your opinion is the only which matter in your life. You don't want to listen to other opinion. That's not true. I will listen to me. I repeat again. You will never learn or grow in your life if you think that your opinion is the only way, is the only opinion, <coughs> excuse me, is the only thing which matter in your life. That's not true. Always give a room inside you to have another word, another wisdom word from other. Accept people to speak to you. Accept other to speak to you. Know that you're not the only one. Just believe that. Just accept that. Just walk according to that. Know that you're not almighty. Know that your knowledge has a limit. Combine the wisdom and the knowledge from other people. Seek the knowledge. That's why Solomon came before the Lord. When the Lord asked him, what do you want? He said, I want knowledge. I want wisdom. Because the three things is the matter in life. In life, if you want to succeed, require three things. One, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. That's how you're going to go to another level. If you have money without knowledge, money will go in your heart, in your hand. If you are afraid without knowledge, things shall run away. Knowledge will give you skills to handle, to know, to maintain, to see how you are going to do it. So, don't best only your own opinion. Always give a room inside you, people to speak to you. That's how you are going to live a successful life. Are you learning something? Now, avoid knowing that you are the only one or you are the only person who is wise. If you think you already know so much that you don't need to listen. You are dying then and then. If you think that you know and you think that no one can speak to you, just know you are dying then and then. When a person is full of pride, they have no ear of anyone's voice, to hear anyone's voice. When someone is so pride, he thinks that he know. In success, we don't need to be pride. If you want to see success in your life, if you want to live a successful life, don't be pride. Always calm down. That's how your blessing is in the hand of people. Do you know that even the people is the one who have your connect, you are holding your blessing? How do you handle them? How do you speak to them? How do you encourage them? Then you are workmen. Your pride don't want to listen to your workmen. Your pride don't want to sit where you are workmen. Your pride don't want to sit. You don't want to sit. You are above. You are king. You are lord. Please calm down. My brother, my sister, that's how we are going to succeed in your life. I told you, I want to believe. You will believe me in that, that if you want to walk a successful life, you want to live a successful life, Avoid being foolish and ignorant. Seek the knowledge. Number three, be willing to accept the advice. Let people speak to you. As I'm going to in these two minutes, I want you to speak to you something.
that this was another so the problem where working Paul saw how that program that they want to listen you know you know you know when you think you know you will never make it in your life don't think that you know just have a room always to, to, to learn and to hear from other people listen to this learning and listening to other other people take denying your flesh or your life or your knowledge learning and listen to other people it will take you to deny yourself and your understanding that's what the bible say don't deny or don't lay or don't believe in your own understanding your understanding has a limit your knowledge has a limit your knowing has a limit give a room to other people to speak to you to encourage you to empower you in order for you to go to another level think about that i know you're learning something sometimes it hurt but you need to bear with it sometimes it hurt you feel like no i'm a bra I'm, I'm a great i'm a man i'm a woman I'm, I'm i'm a ceo i'm a director i'm a manager i can't hear the servant the servant you are you are you are, you are, you are despising the one who has your customer is the one who make money for you is the one who clean they actually do you know that your housemate they know your children than you sometimes listen to them sometimes come down cool down man when you're from your work come down and listen to a, to a servant man of god i know you are you a minister you are a politician you are a business woman a businessman you have a lot of money you have a lot of things you have a lot of supermarket a lot of wholesale so you are the farmer you don't want to listen to those people who are despising the the one who content you have your blessing so listen to them don't be pride sometimes it's hard but sometimes you need to come down and listen to them we may feel like we have crown upon the altar of all, anything but loving instructor to hear the counsel to hear the knowledge the servant will seem like it's nothing is very important in the kingdom each one is very important and each one is useful successful life does not depend of having a lot of money in account or having a lot of tools or having farms and a lot of things Success is the investment that invest in people. The number one investment in people is to pay attention. Because it's people who can make it to be a successful life. If you have an environment around you and no one can see that success in you, you are not a successful man. Therefore, take twice. Give a room inside you to listen from others. Learning and listening to other sometimes is take you to deny yourself and your title put your title down come down to the grass to get a, a, a advice and how to run your business if you come down then you are going to make it in your life i want to go i will go i will start from there tomorrow i know that's been tomorrow we are, we are concluding that point that we should examine the advice we receive to discern the intent some advice is not good, godly and does not fit our situation. But we need to pay attention, careful to listen. Who speak to you? Who speak to you? Who will motivate you? Who encourage you? Who, who will pray for you? The kind of the person who speak to your life matter much in your life. I'm here today to inspire, to speak to you. That's what the purpose I was born. Discover your purpose. I'm Robert you Love you so much. If you're first time, subscribe our page. Like the page. Continue to follow. In doing that, together, we are going to see the goodness of the Lord. May God bless you now. Thank you so much. And the rest of the team across the world.